Hey everybody, Jillian here with a brand new Bible journaling process video. This is just a really quick, simple entry that I think will be great for beginners. I decided to pull out some watercolors for this entry and also these alphabet stickers from Kelly Perky. This font is called Shore Ditch, which is no longer available, but I'll link to some similar stamps in the video description below if you're interested in checking them out. So I'm in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9 here, and I really wanted to stamp out the word forgiven big and bold on this page and th this is an outline stamp so I thought it would be fun to paint the inside of the lines with some color just to you know make it eye-catching and and fun and so I'm laying out the stamps here just to see how I want to have them and I ended up um, stacking them two letters at a time just so that I didn't cover any of the text or anything like that and I'm using some black illustrated faith pigment ink here. That's the only ink that I use. It's wonderful. It doesn't bleed through or anything like that, but it's not waterproof. So for this entry, I couldn't stamp the letter down and then go in and drop the watercolor in because it would move the black ink around and it would just look muddy and dark and not very vibrant. So what I'm doing instead is taking a really thin, a really small paintbrush here and going down the watercolor palette color by color alternating the sides and just putting the color underneath where the alphabet stamp is going to go. I'm not going for perfection here. I think it would be really cool to have some like white space within the letter stamp and um, kind of messy and not perfect. That's what I knew I wanted, just not perfect. I wasn't really like overthinking it or anything. I just wanted to journal this verse. Um, it's something that I've been kind of like meditating on the last two days. And I didn't even really put much thought into the color, just literally went down the palette and chose um, a color from the left and right, alternating down the palette. And you'll see that I do end up skipping a couple of them just to uh, to make sure I use the, the brightest, most vibrant colors. And I didn't prep my page or anything. These are wonderful. They don't bleed through. They There is maybe some shadow, but definitely no bleed through or anything like that. So the verse that I'm journaling says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So the last couple days, I've been kind of like feeling shameful, I guess, for a, a for the lack of a better word, um, about just some sin in my life. Even years and years ago that I've already, you know, confessed and repented, um, I've just kind of been feeling down about that the last couple days. And I ended up Googling verses about forgiveness and came to this one, and, and I even have it written out on my hand here just because I've been coming back to it um, every day for the last couple days. And so I wanted to, that was the reason I wanted to stamp down this word forgiven big and bold in the margin here. So I'm going to go in with the black pigment inks here, and you can see it's not perfect. Um, I actually like it. I think it's really fun, and I'm pleased with how it turned out. This is a super simple entry here. I'm going to go ahead and underline the verse before I forget to do that. And while I was underlining the verse, this word purify us in other translations it says cleanse us jumped out at me and I geeked out a little bit and looked up the original Greek for that word um, I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce it here because I do not speak Greek <laughs> but um, just use the Strong's concordance to um, to help me look that up and define it and I'm just writing the definition here um, in the margin this word to cleanse means to make clean either literally or figuratively and in the moral sense it means to free from defilement of sin and from faults and to free from guilt of sin to purify and I really liked that and wanted to get that down in the margin and then once that's done I'm gonna go ahead and take this it is well washi tape and take the black and white polka dot portion and put that along the bottom of the page and just fold up the X on the reverse of the page and then I'm going to take this like pink and white cross washi that I think is from the she blooms collection and um, layer that on top of there I'm gonna go ahead and use my illustrated faith roller date stamp and stamp that down on the bottom and you can see there's a bit of a gap between where my journaling ended and where the polka dot washi tape starts so what I decided to do was just tear a little piece and fill it in there and because it's clear and kind of like melts into the page you can't really tell where it starts and where it ends. I thought about putting the washi across the top but thought maybe I, I want to use a, like a pink 
clip from the gratitude documented designer clip set um, and then instead decided to use a bible tab and i really wanted to pull out more pink for this entry so that's um, why i used that color washi tape and and I was gravita gravitating towards that pink clip, but I end up using this black tab. I think it's from the You Are Loved collection, and it says You Are. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, ding, ding, ding. That is the tab I want to use. So when the entry is complete, it will read You Are Forgiven. So I'm just going to put some roller adhesive down on that and move it over a smidge just so that it doesn't crowd that word forgiven. And then I'm going to spend a little bit of time here layering the washi tape over that. Um, but I just want to encourage you guys today that if you are feeling something, feeling a way that you kind of recognize is not from the Lord, take that and hold it up to what we know to be true in His Word. And He will meet you every single time with the truth, capital T, truth. And isn't it so wonderful that he does that for us, his children? So amazing. And uh, I'm going to leave you guys with that as I wrap up this entry here, getting this washi tape down finally. Thank you so much for watching and allowing me to share. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. Check back on Wednesday for a brand new Bible journaling process video, and I'll see you then.